everybody. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, girls. It's too much. Hi, everyone. I'm Pallavi. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Sorry, that ended a bit too quickly. I think thanks for watching should come at the end. Let's go there. Hi, everyone. I'm Pallavi, and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to kind of sit down and have a chat with you guys about things that I love, about the things that make me tick, about the things that make me go happy and also my pet peeves and things that really irritate me. So yeah, it sounds like it's going to be fun. Maybe just for me, maybe for you. Let's see. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us feel the same way about a lot of things and actually it'll be quite interesting to put those things out there and see how much I get to hear from you guys about what you like, what you don't like and maybe even get like that cosmic connection thing going on that oh, oh I behave exactly the same. You know, I have this one pin on Pinterest, <laughs> which actually a lot of people repin. So the pin goes, um, how many times does it happen to you that you look at your phone to check the time and then shut it and then go back to it and see that, ah, oh, you didn't even really notice the time in the first place. Does that ever happen to you? Am I just rambling too much? I think I'm in a very rambly space today. I think I might be a bit nervous because of this video. So let's get right into it. Okay. When my best friend got married, we went crazy. We were on Pinterest all day long. My sister is married now. All my friends are married in fact. So, and mine was pretty much the last close wedding. I have nobody to share my wealth with, my pools and pools of knowledge. So, I'm just gonna download it all on you and you go figure what you want to do with it, right? So, I'm no expert on weddings or, you know, even somebody to give you gyan. But it's just that if you're getting married or you got married recently, there's something you might have actually noticed, which I certainly did. I don't know about you. In fact, tell me in the comments, whether you felt this or not, or just be then it sucks. But what I really noticed was that so many of the new wedding planners, wedding decorators, wedding photographers even, are just people who got married and now they have some time and some loads of money lying around and they think that, you know, they put so much money into the wedding market and they want to get it back now. So they just spring up like designers and uh, they're charging bombs for shitty clothes and stupid ideas that they're just stealing off of Pinterest and kind of selling them off as their own and charging people more and I really, it made me mad. I love finding deals and really, who does it? Who doesn't want to save five or ten thousand bucks every there, right? So I'm gonna get, get you in on all the big deals regarding wedding shopping and even otherwise, I mean, why just weddings, right? But hopefully these should help you because these are some things from my personal experience really helped me. On 20th of March, there is one of the sales called the Warehouse Sale um, that's happening at the Grand Vasant Kunj and check out more details on their Facebook page because I don't know those guys or anything but this is just one sale I went to last year and they had some really good stuff and on 24th of March is another sale which I really really liked last year. Uh, this is at the Lalit Hotel, it's called the Stock Market. Now this one came in really beneficial so um, we bought a lehenga for myself, for my trousseau from Vikasha. Got it a great, great deal. I picked up one anarkali from uh, Sahil Kochar. In fact, I had fallen in love with this anarkali for myself and I wanted to pick it up for my engagement. And I still felt it was a bit overpriced. Blah. And eventually I went out, went ahead with this outfit by Anushri Reddy, which was way prettier and like pretty much the same range. So I was very happy about that. Coming back to the Anarkali, um, so when I went for this stock market sale, I found pretty much the same thing and so I picked it up for my true source, my friend alert. So yeah, that happened and also we picked up a lehenga from JJ Valaya and it was lovely, it was beautiful. So the stock market is definitely one exhibition that I would recommend for all brides to be. In fact, if uh, we're in March right now and let's say you're getting married in October, November, I seriously suggest that you should start outfit hunting very seriously already. Trust me, it may sound like a bit of a stretch, but uh, I did that and uh, if you're as picky as me or even if you're half as picky as I am, it is going to take you a really long time to find something that you love, that is appropriate, that fits your budget, that is suitable for day or night, whatever your function is. So yeah, it does take a lot of work. So please start, please get to it. And uh, if you're somebody who likes designer wear, why should you shell out 100% uh, of the amount when you can get beautiful things on sale, right? Ah, one big tip about all these exhibitions. So most of them will not allow you to try on the clothes, which is a very, very big pain. So make sure you dress smart, 
try wearing singlets and you know clothing that won't interfere with uh, what you're trying on so wear a neutral color wear solid color so that even if they don't let you take the garment to the try room you can just slip it on yourself while you're at the exhibition also remember that these exhibitions are crazy crowded oh another very cool offer that is very important for all the brides to be in fact for everybody even people like me who are not brides to be anymore uh, affinity salon in good earth mall in gurgaon near sona road is running a flat 50% off on all services for all of march now i really hope uh, you get this too because i just got this sms this morning that hey palavi we have this offer it's summer is here start pampering yourself this and that so i mean i hope they'll extend it to everybody who goes mm -hmm. try it out and uh, that sounds like a really really great deal so i'm going to head out there right after this and uh, 50% off on salon services is like a really big deal because trust me if you're getting married you're going to be spending a whole lot of money on a whole lot of money on salon services i want to tell you guys about some of the tools that you can use to plan your wedding uh, i think this is going to become a really long video so i'm going to elaborate on this in the next video but just to kind of get you started just to put these seeds in your head because this is something that came very naturally to me because since my sister got married 3 years ago i have just been obsessed about wedding planning and thinking and you know just looking for new ideas and two tools really helped me a lot one is pinterest make pinterest your god pinterest should be your everything um fair warning you might just spend a lot more time looking at puppies and piglets and rainbows and other lights if you're anything like me rather than planning an actual wedding but it's a fabulous waste of time <laughs> so pinterest should be your god pinterest should be your go to for everything that you need make very very organized boards make a board for your let's say sangeet outfit make one for your makeup make one for your hair make one for jewelry one for decor indoor outdoor photographers whatever but just make lots of boards and make sure you add your family and your besties on it because it's no fun planning a wedding without your girl gang right so on pinterest when you go to start exploring i'll keep helping you out with more hacks and how to optimize your pinterest the best way to get most out of it but uh, just add these collaborators add your mom add your sister add your best friend because they'll be equally invested and they'll keep bringing in more ideas and they know you better than you know yourself is something i can tell you for sure for sure they know you better than you do so pinterest for sure get hook and uh, specifically for indian weddings we found wedme good to be really really helpful in fact when my best friend got married we found her photographer from, from wedme good who by the way has become such a dear friend she does all the weddings and functions in our family now and we just found her on wedme good her wedding venue we found from wedme good um designers of course my god i have so much to share with you guys but yeah so for now uh, start exploring these and in the next video we'll talk more about how you can use these and how to really get on planning your wedding my god i'm so excited after so long two months of not planning a wedding and i'm already getting withdrawal symptoms so hopefully this will really help me get it all out there and hopefully this will really help you plan your wedding be practical about it be sensible about it and hopefully at the end of the day save a lot of money yes okay i think that's enough for today and uh, please comment on this video tell me how you like it give it a thumbs up if you like it if you didn't hmm, okay don't give it a thumbs down but at least tell me what i can do more and tell me what kind of videos you'd like tell me what all i can help with what are the areas you have some issues with uh, just from one girl to another i'm here to help you out and please do subscribe to my channel and i'll keep providing you with all the wedding information that you need and a whole lot more